Hey, I'm Jeremy Watson. I'm a product manager here at GitLab. I'm here today to talk a little bit about our direction and strategy when it comes to analytics and our product. Uh, as always, feedback is welcome. I recently created a video on analytics where I did a brief whiteboarding session. Um, I've received some questions and wanted to share some more thoughts about what this means for our strategy and especially um, what this means for our categories for the analytics group of the managed stage. So without further ado, share my screen. Um, and I think the way that we that I'd like to think about analytics in GitLab is really by starting with the DevOps lifecycle. Um, at GitLab, we think about the DevOps lifecycle in terms of 10 different stages. I've only shown seven stages here as part of the core loop. Um, but if we take this and actually lay it out in a, in a line, it kind of represents what I think about as the value stream of software delivery, where it starts with plan, where we're planning and doing project management to prioritize ideas, and then finally, and all, where we create and then verify and then go through ops operations and deployment and monitoring where at the end we are ultimately delivering some type of value to the customer um so with business value uh, customer value user value there is some output of our sdlc that is resulting in something that is valuable um and i think that's the way that i'd like for us to think about this um we've refactored one of our categories into what we call value stream management to kind of represent that end to end journey um, and I'd like to see this reflected explicitly in our product. We are currently planning and working on um, renaming cycle analytics, which currently does this, um, but we want to go deeper. We want to actually like have a analytics feature that's reflective of the full value stream across the entire product, um, have that tie back to specific features like in the GitLab application and have this at the project group and instance level. At the moment, Cycle Analytics, we have a version that is at the project level. Um, we have a more premium version of Cycle Analytics at the group level, uh, but ultimately we want to represent this value stream management um, and the DevOps lifecycle ex very explicitly in the product. Um, uh, so you get a very high level view of how your organization is handling software delivery. Um, but I think that there's more opportunity for us to help instances like learn about specific areas of their uh, of value of their value stream. So I think there's an opportunity for us to deep dive into every single one of these stages at the project group and instance level. And we already have some features and capabilities in each of these areas, but I think that I would like to kind of see us uh, expand on them and so that we have explicit features and capabilities for every single stage that tie back to our overall value stream. And what I mean is, you know, for plan, for instance, I'd like to introduce a category that's explicitly called planning analytics. And again, we already have some of this where we have currently, um, you'll see some features that are in italics, which are, which link to issues that are currently planned, but things that are not in italics, we already have like group level issue analytics, which is a current feature um, that is relatively minimal at the moment, but it tells you some information about how many issues are being created at the group level. We'd like to introduce this to the product level. Um, eventually, we'd like to introduce like instance level kind of planning analytics to help you better understand predictability and planning at kind of the instance and portfolio level. Um, so I think that that A aligns really nicely with our buyer model where we have um, you know, primarily core and starter features at kind of the project level where you have you know, group and instance levels, uh, instance level features that apply to larger enterprises kind of in, in, in higher tiers. Um, but it also really aligns well with like the information architecture of our, of our application where we have a series of features that that sit at the project group instance level. So I think planning analytics is something I'm really excited about. I would consider this category minimal at the moment, but I think that, you know, we'd like to go deeper into planning analytics and this is something our customers are really excited about. I think the next category is right around code analytics. And uh, you know, we introduced a feature in our last release in 12.7 around project level code review analytics to take the create kind of phase of your development um, life cycle and then double click into it to better understand like how long is code review taking? Um, where could we find the bottlenecks? Which merge requests are taking a really long time in code review? And I think that we want to come in to continue to invest in that idea where I could see us having code review analytics at the group level where we can see across a multitude of projects and teams of like how, how, which teams are doing code review especially well, which merge requests are, are moving through your, your pipeline, your review pipeline very quickly. And we also have a feature called productivity analytics, which sits at the group level. It also kind of helps you find merge requests that are, um, that, that need unblocking. So again, like, 
connecting back to the value stream that we have at the, at the uh, that we would like to create at the project group and instance level in this kind of end to end flow, we want to be able to double click into create, be able to understand like how your developers are pushing code, which merge requests in code review in, and are stalled in code review at the project group and instance level. So if I were to, you know, in a world where this category is lovable, you should be able to well to be able to understand extremely well like which teams in your organization are doing this really really well which developers development teams are super efficient and where you can find best practices and where you where you can find bottlenecks kind of in your development process and then unblock so that's plan and create and i think there's an, another opportunity around ci cd analytics where at the moment we have a chart with some some charting functionality at the project level where you can see kind of the overall, the number of pipelines that are being run, success rate of those pipelines over time. But I think we wanna do more than that and show more advanced quality metrics where you can see like how your code quality is changing over time, um, which pipelines are and jobs are taking a really long time to run and kind of how that's changing over time. And again, we wanna show that at the project group at instance level so you can get insights into kind of like how your CI CD is kind of working across your organization. So that leaves a gap in the ops section. And I think that that's the reason for that is it's, it's not a focus for, it, for us at the moment. There are definitely features that we could package and appear. Um, like release analytics is something that, uh, that I know that some competitors like Splunk kind of invest in. Uh, for the moment, like uh, for our current strategy, we want to focus on creating a story around value stream management and then focusing on dev on those first kind of three stages, plan, create, and verify since they're the ones that we have the greatest opportunity, I think, to build great insights around. But I think that leaves the last, the last bucket, which is what does value kind of mean? And I'm calling this category value analytics at the moment, but I think there's also an opportunity for us to showcase like the value that you are delivering with your value stream. Like, I think the ultimate goal is to be able to show business metrics like revenue and um, you know, retention and the actual you know, benefits that, are your, that of your software development lifecycle are, are, um, are adding to your deployed applications. But in the meanwhile, there's a lot we can do that's more fundamental, like just showing the value of what GitLab itself via your value stream is delivering to your organization with things like an instance level overview, um, like, a, like an assessment of like individual project health in terms of, um, you know, a better DevOps score to be able to understand at the instance level, A, what's the value that GitLab is actually delivering for your organization? And then B, what is the value that your software development process is actually adding to your applications that are so fundamental to your business? So that's kind of my thoughts. Um, that means, so at the moment, um, those are the five categories that I'm kind of proposing. And at the moment, like the areas that we're most interested in focusing on are around value stream management, which is showing and um, that kind of value end to end value stream in the application. And again, I want to have I, my vision is to have you know analytics features that you can double click into at every single stage that all roll back up to via to value stream management. So VSM shows you the high level of how you're delivering value throughout your with your SDLC, and then you're able to have these deep dive analytics features like code review analytics and others that kind of help you better understand bottlenecks and, and insights into specific stages across your organization. So that's kind of my thoughts. That's where we're going. I'm really excited to uh, to continue to iterate on this with your help. Um, thanks for the time. Cheers.